Welcome to QDME series on quality management. In next 5 minutes, we'll see the evolution of quality. Can you guess the age of quality movement? No? Let me take you through its history. Most of the articles and write-ups point towards W. Edward Deming, Joseph M. Juran and Philip Crosby when we try to find out the roots of quality movement. But in fact, quality movement can be traced even further back. 1920 was an era of industrial revolution. Before that, the manufacturing was driven by craftsmanship. Craftsmen were skilled in their work and owned the product quality themselves. When industrial revolution started, factory system forced craftsmen to become workers, shop owners became supervisors. This in some way led to the decline in their sense of ownership and empowerment. Quality was ensured at that time too, but it depended on the skills of the workers audits and inspection. At the end, defective products were either reworked or scrapped. 1930 came with the time of statistical control. Walter A. Shivert, who was a statistician of Bell Labs, introduced process control. This made quality relevant not just for the end product but also for the processes that had created it. He introduced the concept of control charts after realizing that the processes yield data and this data can be analyzed. His concepts are very relevant even today and are referred to as statistical con quality control. In essence, quality in 30s had established its importance during the processes also. Decade of 40s came with an unfortunate set of events, the World War II. During that period, quality became a critical safety factor for the U.S. military. They virtually inspected every single unit produced. But this was quite a challenging task, so they started replacing unit inspection with sampling methods and published sampling tables in their military standard 105. These tables were incorporated into military contracts so that the suppliers clearly understand the expectations. After the World War ended, Japan started collecting its pieces again. They began focusing on the serious quality efforts and started to study what foreign markets were doing. In this course, they invited Deming and Juran, who influenced their quality initiatives. Both of them encouraged quality processes, quality process and design, zero defects. It took around 20 years of concerted efforts to revamp Japan's industrial system. By early 80s, Japan was leading manufacturer of superior quality automobiles and electronic products. After this gradual evolution, quality is now integrated as total quality management. It incorporates all the functions and processes within an organization in order to achieve continual improvements of their services and products. This was a brief history of quality movement. In next module, we'll cover the basic concepts of total quality management in detail. In case you have any queries, write to us at info at qalliance.org. We have created forums for you which shall help you to solve your problems at runtime. Join us on our Facebook page and LinkedIn group. Links are available on our website www.qalliance.org. That's all for now. See you in the next module. Happy learning and happy working. Goodbye.